All right, well, we are here today at Street of Shops. We are in the basement, and we are here with the Cult of Vintage, my friend Michael, who recently started his own YouTube channel, um, and I will link that down below in the description. But we are here today looking for treasures that we could buy and flip for our profit. So we've already found a ton of stuff yesterday, and I will link part one down in the description, but we are going to continue shopping today and hopefully find some more goodies. Here we go. <sighs> I was just in the middle of a sentence and I had to stop because Studio Pottery Tan and Brown 6 inch owl bottle. Look at him! It has an owl. Yeah! That's, it is an owl. That's it's, a beak on it for sure. It sure is. That it is. took me a moment to like register the. Wait, that shape is an owl shape. <laughs> and then this down here, look at this. Folk art Mexican terracotta trunk face. Yes, you are, and I love you very much. We might need to go get another cart. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Looks like this little guy's got a little bit, oh, they all have a little bit of damage on their beaks, but it's not terrible. You can still see they have beaks. I love it. Michael got sidetracked and I continued down the aisle. We had to abandon our cart because we can't really get it up the ramp. What do we have here? A little piggy. A little redware pig. He is quite nice for a pig. And he's got no price on him. Bummer. Let's see if we can find one. Looks like everything here is $2. So maybe I'll snap a picture and um, ask them at the front. I also noticed this guy back here. I think this is Italian. Italy. $3. Little wooden duckies. I think these are the DC UK. No. These are the knockoffs of the ducks, right? Oh no, look, it's right there. DC UK. These DC UK wooden ducks, they have um, a collector okay. following because they all have different names. Like there's different names for the ducks and the way that they're positioned and how they're standing. Yeah, there's so like, each one's unique. Yes, there's, there's like a whole thing. And I don't know how to tell them apart. See, they're on the bottom $30. What did you find? I'm putting a bug. Oh, he's it's, cute though. He is cute, but... He's very regal. That is one of those things. I think for $5, if you were a collector and you found it, you would yeah. snatch it up because of course you would. Yeah. But I don't collect that, so then I'm like, but what I try You to could though. This no, could be the start. This, this could be the start of your collection. <laughs> That's like an art pottery piece. Yep, yep, it is. $30. $30. It's usually pretty good stuff in here. It doesn't. It doesn't open now. Wow. Ooh. Cup. Ooh, that was loud. What is this? Bird on stone. Ooh, look at this fun thing for $12. That's a fun glaze. That's like 1980s fun. <laughs> you know, the 80s is coming into style and I'm kind of feeling it. I'm feeling it a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at these puppy dogs. Oh, they're really heavy. They do not pass the one-handed pickup test. Ooh, what is this horse planter? I'm surprised that's, oh, it does have a mark. Um, D or two, one, six. Wow. He's fancy. We don't come across a lot of horse stuff. Um, so this is 15, and I can't recall if there is any percent off of this booth. But, um, I need a little magic eraser, but I'm, I'm digging the horse. I think we might grab him. All right, well, there you go. Fortunately, this horse looks like he got a little bit of a haircut. 
It looks to be more modern. I do love the hummingbird on that. And that shell art, wow. I guarantee that cement is pretty heavy though. <laughs> We're not even going to attempt the one-handed pickup. This is. Yeah. I see a signature. It's signed. Ooh. Will I be able to read it? Probably not. <laughs> I've never thought, like, stop trying to read through the <laughs> you, you see this art class? Back in that corner. Do you want it out? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I'm pointing it out because okay. it's really nice, but okay. the idea of shipping that is terrifying. <laughs> Even asking Walter to ship it, I could just imagine the, oh, you want me to ship what? Like, I could just hear him in my head at the thought of it. Epic. Oh. Oh, he's got a boo-boo. Oh. Does he paper mache? No, he's regular. Uh, he's... Oh, he's weird, though. I've never seen that before where... Ooh. The paint is literally peeling, separating from it. Oh, that's seat. strange. I've never seen that before. Oh. That stinks, because that, oh, I feel, okay, I don't want to touch it anymore. Quick, throw it back. Oh, what is this guy? He's like official guy. Pottery army guy. He's, he's serious. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty vase. It's porcelain. Oh, what's this over here? What are these? Universal Studios Florida. Not as exciting as I thought they were going to be, but this... Cute little elephant. Ooh. I see birds. Are they painted? No, they're a transfer. I do like them. $17 vintage box with parrots. And it's kind of great, but I think oh, it's going to stay living here. frog. One's more modern. It looks like a little hobbyist project. Carved beaver. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. I have a look at him. It's still here. The fishes are still here. I forget how much it was. $40. Just 25% off. I don't think it was 25% off the last time we looked at it. And I'm kind of tempted at 25% off. It's not firm, is it? No, it's not. It's not firm. I love that so much. I think it's so much fun. And I loved it the last time I was here. I think since it's still here and it's 25% off, that I need it. Look at the Alley Brihe. I don't know if he's a giraffe or what he is. I guess he is a giraffe. Red Oxycon. $35. Look at him. Ah, uh, he's even got his tail. They're always missing their tail. Every time I find them, it's like, where's the tail? He doesn't have one. Happen to the best of us. Oh man, he 
He's marked uh, 20% off, but he's marked firm, so unfortunately there's no discount on him, but he's pretty fantastic. And I rarely find him with the tails. You may have to just grab him because he's got his tail. It's like he won the lottery because he's got his tail. He's got his tail and he gets to go home today. Burn with sight. Not a glass baby. You know what's better than a sale? Just any old sale is a 50% off sale. Mm hmm. A 50% off everything sale. Yeah, that's the truth. Hmm. This booth just caught my eye. I was actually turning on the camera to film something else, and I was like, wait, what is that? That's really nice. Ten dollars and ninety-five cents, even. I like that. Nice hand-blown glass piece. Oh, look at that set down there. That looks like it could be Mexican pottery. What is this? Is that not fun? $14.94 shot set and it's like a little car. What's oh, resin? A little resin car. That's adorable. Oh, and look at this. Ah, look at this. Mmm, $9.94 for the amber ashtray. We've got a little bit of a treasure craft here. Ooh, wee. Better save some for Michael and see what, see what he picks before we go crazy. Because he's falling behind. Ooh. What kind of vase is that? Oh, it's a turtle. It's a little turtle, $4.95. A little Tonella turtle. Made in Mexico. Four ninety four. I'm digging him. We've got Vantelligen um, figures here. All right, we've got this cute little turtle here for four ninety. No, nine ninety four. <laughs> he has marked treasure craft on the bottom, and um, wait, what is it? It says salt gate. What does that say? I can't read it. South Gate, California. Treasure craft. He's cute. I think he's gonna go in the cart. And there is a 25% off this. I really want to get this basket, but it's making me real nervous with that one thing up there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at that. Twenty-seven ninety-four. That basket is pretty great. It's like coiled, but it actually has handle. I'm not really that familiar with with tribal baskets, so I couldn't tell you if this was from Africa or if this was Native American. I really don't know. But I love that it has a handle. And again, it is 25% off. So I think I'm going to grab this. And let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? Oh, these little guys. I was waiting to see if Michael wanted them, but he did not. There are no markings on the bottom. So I think we're going to take those. And, um, alright, there we go. Do you see you? I did. I thought maybe you had one like that before, yeah? I don't think so. Hmm, he is cute. He's tempting. I think I'm going to pass on him. His, <laughs> his bubbles are just a little too inconsistent mm. for my liking. He's Bulacante. 
He's sweet though. Oh, and look, a Westmoreland Bridal Bowl. Let's just see the wow. He's got a really big eye. <laughs> better to see you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I like you. I feel like we just hit the, that gold mine. We did, and then it was it was like, oh, okay. All right. This is a mountain home. Very scenic mountain home. He looks like he's about to throw that bucket down the well. <laughs> Look at Papa. All right, well, it just started raining, and I said farewell to Michael. Um, if you have not subscribed to Michael, you should. The Cult of Vintage, and I've linked that down below in the description, but um, he has set off, and I am about to head out. I have to go pick up Andrew from the airport because he is getting back from California. He went on a gold prospecting trip, and um, I'm not sure how much gold he found. I haven't asked. I'm waiting to see the handfuls of, of gold nuggets when I pick him up at the airport. Um, but I'm getting out of here now. Our total spend was $387, which I felt was really great for all of the amazing things we got. Um, but on that note, I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.